home video. Black Friday, that shameless bacchanalia of greed that follows Thanksgiving dinner. First, you fill your gut. Then make emptying your wallet buying half-price waffle irons and toaster ovens a contact sport. But if you live in Plymouth, Massachusetts, last year's Black Friday may have been your last. And let me tell you about the Black Friday massacre that kicks off Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. In a word, wow. That was about 15 or so minutes of pure, unadulterated fun. The bloodshed, the carnage, and the comedy. I laughed several times, and I winced also several times. Anyway, fast forward one year after the tragedy, and someone in Pilgrim get up, and the mask of the town founder, John Carver, is now carving up the town folk. Could the murders be connected to the tragedy? Doubtful. By the way, stick around to the end of the video to hear Jeremy's thoughts on Thanksgiving. It's been 16 years, yes, 16 years, since Eli Roth first graced us with his fake trailer for Thanksgiving, which appeared during the intermission of Grindhouse. And if you ask anybody about Grindhouse, I can just about guarantee you that the very first thing they're going to mention is the Thanksgiving trailer. Not Planet Terror, not Death Proof, but a three-minute fake trailer that appeared during the intermission. It was that memorable and that good. Ever since, people have been begging Eli Roth to bring Thanksgiving to the table, to serve us a heaping helping of bloodshed and a hearty body count. So does Thanksgiving really hit the spot, or has it exceeded its use-by date? Put it this way. If your spot yearns for a bloody good time, then Thanksgiving will hit it, and hit it hard. And Thanksgiving doesn't just hit that particular spot. It hits the nostalgia spot. And of course, if you're a horror fan, the nostalgia spot is a very sensitive one. Thanksgiving harkens back to old school slashers of the 1980s with its themes of a sin from the past returning to haunt those responsible. And was it just me, or did most if not all of the makeup and gore effects in the movie look practical and really cool? We get some great kills here. We get beheadings, bisectings, and bakings. Baked alive is what I mean. And most of the kills are pretty cringe-inducing. I winced several times. That table saw scene, for instance? Oy. There are some moments from the fake trailer that make their way into the movie. If you saw the real trailer, then you know that the cheerleader on the trampoline scene is carried over, which I was very happy to see. There's another scene from the fake trailer that I didn't see in the real trailer, so I won't spoil that one for you. I dug the sense of humor here as well. The movie definitely does not take itself too seriously. All the bloodshed and gore is perpetrated in a really amusing kind of way. And I really dug the killer here, John Carver. I liked the look, the mask was cool, and I thought the characterization of the character was also really well done. He was given some character. He had personality and a kind of charm that we haven't seen in a slasher in a long time. The cast features a lot of familiar faces, including Patrick Dempsey, who I thought really nailed that Boston accent. And Gina Gershon has a small but memorable role. Also, keep your eyes peeled for Black Christmas's Lynn Griffin, who has a small role. What can I say? I had an absolute blast with Thanksgiving. It is thoroughly entertaining from beginning to end. It has all the ingredients needed to make any slasher fan feel stuffed and ready for a nap afterwards. I cannot recommend it any higher. You may want to stay in on Black Friday this year, though. If you've seen Thanksgiving, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. Was it worth the wait, or did it need more time in the oven? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.
Howdy folks, Jeremy and I just got out of Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And tell us, what did you think of the movie, Bubba? Did you like it? Yes. What would you rate it? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Jeremy is giving Thanksgiving two thumbs up. That's the official Jeremy seal of approval. And I could tell that you were having a good time while watching the movie because you, you were you were rocking back and forth, you were shifting in your seat, you were you were having a good time. Yes. You enjoyed yourself. Yes. What was what did you think about John Carver? He's evil. He's evil. <laughs> He's evil. He did a lot of carving, didn't he? Carving. Yeah, he lives up to that last name. John Carver certainly did a lot of carving. <laughs> yes. What was your what was your what was your favorite scene in the movie? Killing the waitress. Kill, oh, killing the waitress, yeah, in the diner. That was a good one. That was a good one, Baba. What was, what was some of your other favorite scenes in the movie? Killing the cheerleader. Oh, killing the cheerleader on the, the trampoline? Yes. That was, that was a classic. That one came over from the Grindhouse trailer. I was glad to see the killing of the cheerleader on the trampoline be carried over from the old Grindhouse trailer. That was cool. Yes. What were some of your other favorite scenes? Killing the the grand the gr a grandpa. Killing the, killing the grandpa. Killing, yeah. killing the mother in the brain. The brain. Oh. <laughs> you just like all the killing. Yes. <laughs> Jeremy is in it for the killing, and. Thanksgiving definitely delivered when it came to the killing, right? Yes. So just on, just from, <laughs> just from the standpoint of the killing, Thanksgiving delivers and it gets Jeremy's full seal of approval. Yes. Would you recommend everybody go and see it? Yes. What do you want to say to Eli Roth? Thank you, Eli Roth. There you go. Jeremy is appreciative for Thanksgiving. I think Jeremy is thankful for Thanksgiving, right? Right. There you go. What do you want to say to everybody, Bubba? Thanks for watching. What else? Ho, follow us on social media. What else? Ho, like it on Facebook. <laughs> say, we'll see you later. Yeah. Say, take, take care. care. Say, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Say, we love you guys. Peace. Peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.